Yo, yo, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. Yo, guys, this time it's on the full line 100% pure beef sandwiches. Steak chopped, shaked, and thinly sliced. Okay, guys, this is the meat you use. You're making homemade cheese steaks. And I um, just want to share with you guys what it tastes like, man. Okay? So as you can see on the box, this run you $5.99 at Foodland. You also can get the other brand, which is the Steakum brand. Which I just got this one because they mainly the same price. Okay? Alright, guys. So look down up in here. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys the sandwiches that I'm working with. I know these is home cooked. Just coming out of my frying pan and I'll put them on a bun. Okay, got a few little chips on the side. And this is how we doing it, man. Okay, let's spin it all around here. So you guys get a good look. Alright guys, so we're going to jump into what this steak stuff is tasting like. It's 100% pure beef. And here we go. Just caramelize your onions. Your bell peppers, and it's a done deal. All right, freshly out of my kitchen. All right, here we go, man. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Pretty good. You really do have to season it yourself because they give you no seasoning. All right. That's what it look like again. So you got to put your own onions and everything here. All right. Take another bite. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's good. 100% beef. This is my first meal of today. Don't eat a lot, guys. I don't eat but one time a day. Don't like to eat three, four times. I eat one good meal a day. This going to do me for the day. All right. So, my take on this, you got to season it. Because it has no seasoning in it. Uh, you're going to want to put your onions, your bell peppers, caramelize them right along with your steak. Them. Because, like I said, this has no season. You're going to want to use just a pinch of salt. And you don't want to use too much salt to run your blood pressure up. So you're going to use just a pinch of that. And, um, and your bell peppers and onions. Uh, you can use a little black pepper as necessary. Some of you guys use... Um, which for serious sauce or whatever up here, I don't go that far with it. I just season it regular, put a little salt, season salt or whatever, and it's a done deal. Now, my rating for this, zero out of a five, I give it a four. The reason why, because like I said, it has no season whatsoever. You know, you got to do all the seasoning. But taste-wise, uh, it tastes good, but it says 100% pure beef. Uh, I really don't exactly taste like pure beef, but it could be. I don't know for sure, but it doesn't taste exactly like pure beef. But I give it a four because it's good. All right? But it says 100% pure beef. That's all I can go by. Okay? Okay, guys. All right, another look. That's what we're getting. That's what we're working with. Spin it all around. Got some chips. That's what the meat looking like right there. I'll give you a closer view of the meat, of the meat, of the meat, of the meat, of the cheese. I use regular crab sinkers. And it's a done deal. All right. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends, man. And um, tell them how good this meat is. I give it a four stars because it has no seasoning. You guys really got to season it up to get the taste out of it. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.